Hey guys, so today I have a very unique review from a very special guy. Now that special guy, um, I'll talk more about it later into the review. But today I have here the Ace Fultons Midnight Edition, I believe that's what they call it. And I already done the liberty of cutting the seal, so you guys don't need to waste time on that. And let's get into it. So here off we have a very simplistic box, a very sim yeah, a black box with a uh, matte finish I believe and the Ace Fultons uh, sign here. It's also embossed or debossed, however you want to call it. And f for me, it reminds me of Jerry Nuggets. And I don't know how you guys feel about that, but let's just move on. The back is identical as the front, you can see there. Not much difference. On the side, we have uh, Ace Fultons Casino, 355 Las Vegas Boulevard, Nevada. On the other side, you have Distributed by the Dan and Day Playing Car Company, Hollywood, California. And up here, you have a very unique seal and some calligraphy there. The seal is of a picture of the Ace, and it is a very unique seal and very different seal because there's only 2,500 of these made and I was fortunate enough to get number 424. Okay? So now that you guys seen the front and the box, let's crack this open. So in here, uh, the playing cards are sealed in reflective uh, silver cover thing, you can call it. Up here we have 37, complements of 37, oh yeah, on the box, I also forgot to mention Ivory 37, made in USA, and up here we have a very cool looking Ace of Spades, or Ace rather, and there you have it, uh, and there we go. So I'll set this off to the side, set it off uh, right here. Alright, so here we have the deck wrapped in silver foil, and I'll crack this open. So here we have the Ace Fultons playing cards. Now, here we go. Let me get this side open real quick. It's kind of like it's kind of like unwrapping a present, huh? All right. So there's the silver foil, and here we have the deck, the Ace Fulton deck. All right. It's a very nice finish on it. It's a very smooth as well. It's a lot different from the standard uh, air cushion finish you see. So that's kind of nice. A uh, good change for a little bit. Here we have a to Ace Fulton's Casino. Uh, what are those? Seven rules at the tables. Right? Designed by Brad Fulton, produced by Dan Day Buck, and illustrated by Dan Phillips. So there we go, and it's signed, or not, it's not signed in ink, but it's actually printed over here. Some sort of signature there. Poker room and lounge, and on the bottom you have a reservation call. So there is one card. Uh, here we have another card. It is the Brenda Fultzen's world famous tip sheet. There we go, play the ponies, best horse betting in Vegas. Kentucky Derby live on the Jumbotron. So there's another card on the back of the back right there. I'll get to the back a little bit later. And next card, there's the Ace. I'll say that for last. We have a. Actually, we have two Jokers. Pretty unique Jokers. Yeah, I believe they're identical. Almost identical. Actually, they are identical. It was just a stain. So here, you can see this very nice looking lady on both of the jokers. There is a, I believe a heart right here, uh, the other half of a heart, the spade. Uh, this might be missing something. Might be a picture of a cat or a dog up in that corner. Here's the club, here's a uh, shadowette of a gun, seven and diamond. And I believe that the second Joker is identical to that. And yeah, it is. Alright, so there are the two Jokers. <clears throat> I'll leave those right here for you guys to view. And here we have the deck. First off, Ace of Spades. 
very nice ace of spades. Again, a playing card coming on the bottom. Mm, I like the little lines that they have, so that's the ace of spades. Up next, we have the pip cards. They are very, very intricate looking pip cards. I appreciate them very much myself. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here are the jacks, or actually the core cards, if you will. It's a very nice color. The red pops a lot on the black. You can see there the jack of spades holds, I believe, a cigar. Uh, could be a cigar. And on the other side, it's not holding anything. On um, this queen of spades, it holds uh, nothing out of the ordinary, I don't believe. Except we have that black spade up in the corner. Here we have the king of spades. And what's, this, what's different about the king of spades is that his little pip up here is fancy. So there's the king of spades. Very nice looking king of spades. Up next we have the diamonds. With a nice ace of hearts or ace of diamonds, I'm sorry. Uh, going through the suits, look pretty nice. Here's the Jack of Diamonds, the Queen of Diamonds, and the King of Diamonds with a very angry face. Not really angry, but sad face. Okay, so that's the diamond suit right there. Here we have the club suit, the uh, King of Clubs, Queen of Clubs, and the Jack of Clubs. You guys can get a peek at that, and there are the suits. Right there. So fan through them quickly. There is the Ace of Clubs. Up next we have the final suit, the Hearts. There is the King of Hearts, the Queen of Hearts, Jack of Hearts, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and Ace. Right there. So now that you guys have seen the deck, let me get into the back design. Okay, so the back design looks pretty much like this. These decks also came in two other colors. I believe they call it tobacco brown and sunset orange, something along those lines. But here's the black version. I believe personally the black, ver the black version is the best because uh, it pops out very much other than the brown and the orange one. But that's my opinion simply. So here it is, it says Ace Fulton Casino in the shape of a spade. On the reverse side it says the same thing. This is very nice back. Even though it's very simple, it's also very nice as well. Now what I love most about this deck is the fact it has small pips and indices in the upper corner. Now with standardized decks, the pips don't really show when you fan them out because they are so big. However, with this deck, if you fan them correctly, you actually see some of the pips. Now that I know that wasn't the best fan in the world, but usually. See like a fan like this, you can see all the pips. Most of them anyways. Alright. So right off the bat, as you can see, this deck fans very well. It also spreads very nicely. The deck itself is very smooth. Right there and fanning on the back of the deck it looks very simple and I'm not complaining any much about that alright so there it is let me get one more fan alright so I believe there you guys have it now if you guys want to pick up this deck I believe it might be still available if you purchase a brick of the regular um, regular Ace Fultons, but I'm unsure about that. Those Ace Fultons might be already sold out. So, if you guys really want this deck, uh, I suggest hitting up eBay and other sites like that, because this deck sooner or later is going to go, it's going to be extinct. Alright, so it's a very nice deck in, in of itself. I like the fact that each one of the pips on each one of the cards is uh, customized. I mean, you don't really see that much often and also the white background is it's not really much of a white background it's an offset kind kind of white background you can say so that's something different 
And also, uh, let me see if I can get a giant fan out of this. Pharaohs. The Pharaoh, pretty nice as well. There you guys have it. The giant fans look good, too. Uh, let me see if I can do that. There you go. And I believe that is it. Also, earlier in this review, I, I hinted at a little special someone who sent this deck to me. His name is, well, I'm not sure if I can really say his name on the internet, but he goes by the username on a certain forum, the Discourse forum. He goes by the username of Munro159. So that's M U N R O 159. Now, if you guys remember from an earlier unboxing, I actually bought a, what was it, a Smoke and Mirrors V3 pair from him, a black and white fan back deck from him, and I also got a white vision deck from him, I believe. So he's a very nice guy. He works great, and his customer service is off the charts. He also does have a eBay account. Um... Currently, I can't remember his exact ID, but I will have it up on the screen as an annotation. And down below, I will have a link to his store. Now, you guys might be wondering, oh, well, why do we have to go to this guy instead of another guy? Well, I'll tell you why. If you guys send him a personal message first before you guys buy any of the decks he has. He has a whole bunch of decks, by the way. They are, some are exclusive, some are common, but they have... Uh, the decks he sells are at cheap dirt prices. So, I recommend you guys buy from that guy. I bought from him once, and I can tell he's already a nice guy, and his um, products are pretty pretty good. Um, now, what was I getting on to? Oh, yeah. If you guys message him right before purchasing any of his decks, he will give you not 5 but a 10% discount off of your entire purchase before shipping. So let's say you buy uh, an Artifice V2 or maybe you want a Vaudeville deck. If that deck costs five dollars for example you'll get 10% off of that so that'll be 50 cents off. So I think that's a pretty nice deal for you guys. So just message him, refer him to me, just tell them that I sent you guys there and he'll give you your guys's 10% discount. So I believe that is all for today's review of the Ace Fulton's Midnight Deck. Watch out for other deck reviews and unboxings coming up in the future. Thank you guys for watching, and you know what? I'll see you guys next time.